Okay, here's the before. And we shall see. Okay, all the pink is in. Is it the most perfect dog? No. Does Janet care? No. Is pink the new black? Yes. Am I going to leave it like this? Yeah, probably not. Okay. Yay. Okay, so this is the end of first time support. So we're getting there. Floor's done. Not perfect <laughs> by any means. Still a lot to do. I'm gonna call it for the night. So I just have to finish the ceiling, have all of that done, put in the edging, have the ceiling in, don't look too close, ran out of trim, have to get more trim, but we're making it. So it's getting there little by little, lots of blood, sweat, and tears, but I am happy. Okay, here we are. All of the furring strips are in. We are ready for the particle board for up here, and then we can finish it off.
Okay, so here is finished, besides a little bit of trim here and there. So there's the nose, ceiling. Again, I have to trim in the windows. Still figuring out what I want to do. Oh, the walls. I need to trim out the ceiling, I guess. I need to get a little bit more trim. Corner. We got the ceiling all done. Floor. Oops. And ta da! Okay, so here is the trailer, just so that you understand the whole thing. This is what goes over the truck. We call this the nose of the trailer. And this is where my mattress is going to be. And then I have this area that's attached to it and this is like the dressing room area and I'm gonna put like a sink and a modified kind of plumbing in here and so that's like what I'm redoing and then this part over here is where the horses go and that's not getting changed at all but um I know it's really dark in here you can't see but um that's gonna be just the regular area for the horses and that's gonna stay as is and then this is my little tack room in the back Okay, I think I'm done. So my twin mattress will go here and I'll still have about a foot of space on that side. I can hook up my fan, a phone charger, etc. There will be um, storage bins all in there for extra blankets, padding, um, things that I don't use all the time, um, etc same here and um this is going to be a sink so i have a battery powered spigot that's going to come and then i'll drill a little hole in there to set a reservoir but the water will come up and over and be like a dry sink and then that will be storage for like toilet paper paper towels uh you know toiletry things like that um i'll have like my portable toilet in this area. Um, I will be hanging shelving, well, probably baskets and stuff here where needed. And then this area is open and I left it like that by design because I can put my portable horse corral and um, like the Tonka makers, uh, sticks like that, things that aren't gonna, they're kind of bulky. Uh, but I don't need to be using all the time, like, um, shovels and, um, sweeper things, what do I call brooms, things like that. And then this is going to be, again, just storage for probably extra food, um, coffee, things that won't fit in my camper, um, outside. So, yeah, so there's, it's quite big, I think it's like 12 inches there, so I'll have bins, um, in there and then I'll figure out like a bungee system to keep them in there but oh I need to finish that I need to put some finishing woods on it but then I can still use my um hanging bar blue um my bar here to hang clothes etc and I can put like a welcome or cross right there um and then this wall is just going to be left open um and I'm going to use those stairs to fold out to get in and out of the bunk area but I'm super happy don't look super close because it was a lot of Jana isms <laughs> but we did it and I love it